वेलकम बैक टू एस के वन के सनवा बैक अगेन विद एनदर वीडियो ऑफ माइन एंड आज हम लोग वेब फंक्शन की डिस्कशन करेंगे एंड विल सी टू इट दैट व्हाई इज इट एक्चुअली अ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर एंड टू बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट दिस क्वेश्चन दैट व्हाई इज द वेब फंक्शन ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर सो व्हाट इज द मैकेनिज्म बिहाइंड इट लाइक हाउ कैन इट वर्क हाउ कैन इट फंक्शन इन द कॉम्प्लेक्स वर्ल्ड नो दैट इज नॉट समथिंग दैट इज आंसरेबल तो हम लोग मोर लाइक डिस्कस करेंगे कि इसके कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर होने के बेसिकली क्या कॉन्सिक्वेंसेस होते हैं इन क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स एंड दैट इज पार्शली द रीजन और एटलीस्ट द रीजन दैट वेब फंक्शन डजेंट फिजिकली सिग्निफाई एनीथिंग तो पहली चीज वेब फंक्शन का इंट्रोडक्शन शॉर्डिंगर से इक्वेशन से हुआ था एंड टू रिमाइंड योर शॉर्डिंगर इक्वेशन इज अ नॉन रिलेटिविस्टिक इक्वेशन सो इट कंसिडर्स द काइनेटिक एनर्जी ऑपरेटर एज द मोमेंटम ऑपरेटर स्क्वेड ओवर ट्वाइस द मास ऑफ द पार्टिकल वेल फॉर वट एवर पार्टिकल कंसिडर्ड एंड Since it considers the kinetic energy to be this way or the its operator to be this way, हमें पता है कि kinetic energy को अगर इस तरीके से represent करते हैं, it's a non-relativistic equation. So the Schrödinger equation is actually a non-relativistic equation. And the fact that the Schrödinger equation is a non-relativistic equation, so that is how mainly जो जो quantum mechanics में wave function का introduction था, that that was itself non-relativistic. लेकिन इसे relativistic डोमेन में एक्सपैंड किया जा सकते हैं एज वेल बट वॉट अर मेन कंसर्न इज कि इस इक्वेशन में वेल यू हैव लेट मी राइट इट एज एच कैरेट साइड इक्वल्स हेयर इज आईओटा एच बार डी ओवर डी टी ऑफ साइ एक्स टी नाउ हेयर वी रोट एक्चुअली साई एंड हेयर वी हैव साई एक्स टी सो दैट इज जस्ट अ वे टू मिनिमाइज द a uh, notation while as well showing that size has been taken as a function of x and time now the thing is ki ye jo mera schrodinger equation where h caret i have as the hamiltonian operator well you know ki yahan se jo wave function ka introduction hua hai this wave function which when schrodinger was asked that what exactly is this variable and he said that i don't know to so schrodinger ne उन सारे क्वांटम प्रॉब्लम्स को सॉल्व करने के लिए सिंस ही वाज आस्क टू फॉर्म अ वेव इक्वेशन वेल ही बिलीव्ड कि हां मैटर पार्टिकल्स हैं वो वेव्स की तरह बिहेव करें दैट इज व्हाई इट केम टू बी कॉल्ड एज द वेव मैकेनिक्स एंड वेल देन व्हाट बेसिकली हैपेंस इज श्रोडिंगर को अगर लगता है कि सारे पार्टिकल्स एज वेव्स बिहेव करते हैं दे नीड अ वेव इक्वेशन फॉर दिस राइट एंड दैट दे नीड अ वेव इक्वेशन फॉर दिस शॉर्डिंगर ने अपना वेव इक्वेशन डेवलप किया दैट इज अडिंगर इक्वेशन और शॉर्डिंगर वेव इक्वेशन बट यहां पे उन्हें ऐसा वेरिएबल यूज करना पड़ा दिस वेरिएबल इंट्रोड्यूस करना पड़ा द डायनेमिकल वेरिएबल वेव फंक्शन एंड वेन ही वॉज आस्कड अबाउट इट ही सेज ही डजेंट नो वट दिस वेरिएबल इज बट वन थिंग टू बी वेरी श्योर हियर कि सिंस अगर हमारा वेव फंक्शन ये जो साई एक्स टी है सो इफ इट इज अ रियल वैल्यू सो इफ इट बिलोंग्स इन द सेट ऑफ रियल नंबर तो हमें पता है इसका टाइम डेरेवेटिव भी रियल होगा एंड दैट इसका टाइम डेरेवेटिव रियल होगा हियर इट विल बी मल्टीप्लाइड विथ आयोटा एंड यू नो वेल इट इज मल्टीप्लाइड विथ आयोटा राइट हियर सो वेन इट इज रियल एंड इट गेट्स मल्टीप्लाइड बाई आयोटा इट बिकम्स इमेजनरी तो ये साइड हमारा इमेजनरी हो जाएगा वेल वॉट इज एच कैरेट साई एच कैरेट साई इज बेसिकली द हेमिल्टनियन ऑपरेटर ऑपरेटिंग ऑन द वेब फंक्शन एंड अगर हमारा ये साई रियल एक रियल वैल्यू है तो दैमिल्टनियन ऑपरेटर ऑपरेटिंग ऑन इट मस्ट एज वेल बी अ रियल वैल्यू सो यहां पर अगर साई दैट इज अ वेब फंक्शन रियल वैल्यूज को बिलोंग करते हैं या फिर रियल सेट ऑफ रियल नंबर्स में बिलोंग करते हैं तो एच कैरिट साई भी रियल वैल्यूज को बिलोंग करता होगा बट हियर वी हैव इट मल्टीप्लाइड बाई आईओटा विश रोडिंग डेवलप्ड एस एज ओरिजिनल इक्वेशन so we get to know that this part is actually imaginary and it belongs in the complex world so you basically get to know ki ye dono sides of the equation se ek dusre ke sath consistent nahi honge ek term totally real hai dusra term on the right hand side totally imaginary hai well what does that mean that means that you cannot have the wave function as a real value or as a real dynamical variable and that is the thing ki hamara ye jo wave function hai this actually belongs to the complex numbers set of complex numbers to the complex world and here 
सिंस ये जो वेब फंक्शन है कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर के सेट को बिलोंग करते यू फाइनली गेट टू सी यू क्लियरली गेट अ जस्ट ऑफ वाई इट डजेंट एक्सप्लेन फिजिकली रीजनेबल थिंग्स और वाई इट डजेंट हैव अ फिजिकल सिग्निफिकेंस और मीनिंग बिहाइंड इट एंड नो इट डजेंट वे फंक्शन का कोई फिजिकल सिग्निफिकेंस नहीं होता है तो यू कैन हैव फिजिकल सिग्निफिकेंस बाई सम मेनिपुलेशन ऑन द वे फंक्शन हाउ इज दैट वेल दिस वे फंक्शन इज अ मैथमेटिकल ऑब्जेक्ट टू बी वेरी क्लियर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इज अ मैथमेटिकल ऑब्जेक्ट विदाउट एनी फिजिकल सिग्निफिकेंस without any physical significance now agar maine web function ka modulus liya which i can certainly take since it is well it is a complex number i can have its modulus and how do i find that well you know that the square of the modulus of a complex number is basically that complex number times its complex conjugate so i square the modulus of the web function that is to say what i find is this thing it is web function times its complex conjugate so the conjugate of it times the web function itself and will i say that this does have a physical significance and you can see why well hame pata hai ki ye cheez jo hai ye completely real number hai kyunki agar web function ke paas ek real part hai and imaginary part hai so have a complex number the standard ones z you have x plus iota y you know that mod of z square which is defined to be as z star times z so you can clearly see it should equal well if it equal z is z times z star you get to say it's x plus iota y times x minus iota y which is equal to x square plus y square so you get to know that it is a completely real term the square of the modulus of a complex number is a completely real term as x and y themselves are actually part of this real world to call it or this are belong to the set of real numbers matlab the square of the modulus of the web function which is the web function conjugate times the web function does actually belong to the set of real numbers right so this should signify something physically even though side itself doesn't signify something physically and max born ne iski interpretation nikali thi and that is well you have born's statistical interpretation he says that you square the modulus of the web function and you multiply it by a certain what you call dx a certain area of length and this is the probability of finding this particle at whatever will you calculate this thing at maybe x and t so yahan pe main ise aur precisely x as x and t likh deta hu so psi at x and t okay here is iska modulus ka square well this is the probability of finding the particle between x and x plus dx at time t and this is born's statistical interpretation unhone unhone bataya ki jo wave function schrodinger ne apni equations mein originally introduce kiya iska koi khud physical significance nahi hota hai physical significance hota hai out of this real number derived from it by squaring its modulus well that is clearly a real number and he says ki agar main isko baad mein dx se multiply kar diya tab ye mujhe deta hai ki kya meri probability hai ki main is particle ko jo ki इस वेब फंक्शन से डिस्क्राइब हो रहा है x एंड x प्लस डी एक्स इस लेंथ में इस इंटरवल में ढूंढ सकता हूं टाइम की वैल्यू t पे एंड दैट इज द फिजिकल मीनिंग वेल दैट बॉन्स स्टार्टिस्टिकल इंटरप्रिटेशन एंड यू माइट एज वेल जनरलाइज इट बिटवीन टू पॉइंट ए एंड बी एंड यू इंटीग्रेट ऑल दीज वैल्यूज एंड यू हैव द प्रोबिलिटी ऑफ फाइंडिंग टू पार्टिक फाइंडिंग वन पार्टिकल बिटवीन ए एंड बी एट टाइम टी एट टाइम t as equal to at time t as equal to the integral from a to b of the modulus of psi at x and t is a uh, squared dx well that's the probability now is cheez ko probability density bhi kaha jata hai 
so what is the probability density well it's this part itself this part that you see right here this is the probability density and for apparent reasons as you see so probability is a real number when well, you know that and probability hame ye bhi pata hai ki probability ki maximum value 1 hoti hai minimum value 0 hoti hai so if you have a probability of 0 well you have no chance of finding the particle between these two points or between within this interval if you have probability 1 you are sure that you are going to find it within that interval and of course that concludes to why koi bhi physically realizable system hoga ki koi system jo exist kar sakta hai use kahin na kahin space mein exist karna hai so for 1d i am considering here only the probability of finding it between negative and positive infinity should always be 1 because that is the maximum value of probability right a chance of 100% and agar koi system exist karta hai koi particle exist karta hai to wo kahin na kahin exist karega space mein karega so puri space mein kahin bhi kar sakta hai well so the probability of finding it somewhere in space just anywhere in space right in this space should be the integral from negative to positive infinity of mod of psi xt square dx and that should equal 1 and that is the concept behind the normalization of the wave functions because if it is real it has to exist somewhere and that it has to exist somewhere this integral should be 1 and that is what we do right that is how we normalize the wave functions with one property that you can consider here ki aapke paas aisa koi complex number hai as long as the equations that you consider are linear and whatever equations you consider in quantum mechanics like you have the schrodinger's equation for instance they are all linear equations right so that they are linear equations and they follow the superpositions of linearity so you can consider ki agar aapke paas psi hai jo ki schrodinger equation ko basically obey karta hai and agar psi normalized bhi nahi hai you can always multiply a normalizable constant in it and have a psi which follows this schrodinger equation as well that might be normalized as long as the integral itself for the initial maybe doesn't come out to be infinity so agar ye ek square integrable solution hai and when i say that i mean that when you actually find this integral and it is lesser than infinity which is to say ye hilbert space that is l square ab may exist karta hai as mathematicians would call it well so as long as it exists in hilbert space and it is maybe some other value it is some other finite number so you multiply a normalization a normalization constant in this that is a constant a and you normalize it by finding the respective value of constant taaki iski probability 1 ho jaye are you allowed to do that well you are allowed to do that kyunki agar psi ek solution hai a psi b ek solution hai due to the linearity of the schrodinger equation of or the linearity of quantum mechanics because the entire theory of quantum mechanics is actually a linear theory so it is it is just like maxwell's electrodynamics which are linear equations right so though they obey linearity and that is one kind of advantage that we are working that when we are working with in quantum mechanics as compared to newtonian mechanics which is not a linear theory so this is the concept behind uh, behind normalization and that is basically how ki wave function ka koi physical significance nahi hote well it's a complex number as you know tab ye jo cheez hogi ye clearly galat ho jayegi as for reasons i have showed you so for the i as the i is present there the uh, wave function has to be a complex number and agar maine aapse pucha ya fir kisi ne bhi aapse pucha well kyun ye well agar ye a complex number hai to kyun ye complex number hai so there is actually no answer to that question that why is the wave function a complex number kyunki the question can only be answered on why it is a complex number if it is physically realizable and it carries no physical significance to itself and that it carries no physical significance even though is just a direct conclusion of the fact that it is a complex number so we are running around a cycle around a loop right now and so you accept it as an axiom aapko accept karna hai ki the wave function the dynamical main dynamical variable of quantum mechanics is a complex number which can be squared its modulus 
and that gives you something physically realizable and well that gives you the probability you might as well consider some other operations on it and it gives you the expectation values of other classical dynamical variables like position and momentum but that was all for today's video of mine and thanks to all of us